from Brambleberry.com. Every single month, Brambleberry features a maker of the month. This is a creator of soap and body products or skincare products or candles that's really caught our eye, either because of what they make, how they use the Brambleberry products in their products, or maybe their personal story about what got them into business. These are all of our makers from this year, and I'm excited to unbox and show you what they make and tell you a little bit more about their stories. So let's get unboxing. First up, we have Natalie from Nath Soap Company, and I'm so excited to see what she has. I like the little postcard, cute little sticker, and here we go. Ooh, this is all so pretty. Natalie got started in the soap business because like many soap makers, she had a health issue and she decided to start making products that she felt were better for her and her family's skin. Natalie also has a beautiful website where she sells her products. And I really like the precision work that she does on all of her bars of soap. Um, she's great with drop swirls, in the pot swirls, and I can tell she's pouring in a really beautiful trace to get these gorgeous lines. Another thing I really appreciate about this soap is just the detail work on top. This is such nice texture with the mica vein running through it. Another thing I noticed that she does really well is that she's got a soap care instruction thing in here which says we, we recommend that you keep your soap bar in a dry ventilated area and allow the water to fully drain after each use. That's such a good thing because since handcrafted soap has added retained glycerin in it, it can get really soft and mushy in the shower. And so this is a great way to remind consumers that this is a special bar of soap that requires just a little extra TLC. Mm, I love the smell of this one. Another thing I really find appealing about Natalie's soap hair is of course the cute stamp. That's another really great way to make her product stand out. I bought most of her fall collection, which is why this looks so uniform and works so well together. So Natalie, we love your products. Thanks for being one of our makers of the month. Our next maker of the month is Stephanie from Coco Body Company. First of all, love the photos. There's a nice thank you right here. Thank you for your order. This is really appealing, this very nice sticker with her logo on it. And this gold wrapping makes me feel pretty special. One of Stephanie's passions is mental health and mental health awareness. And in fact, she was suffering from depression when she started her company. While she was recovering, she started researching natural products and how to make things that were deeply useful with her hands and came upon this idea for a company. She's so passionate about it that a portion of her profits actually go to hmm, black and indigenous people of color, nonprofits focusing on mental health and mental health awareness. This is a vegan bath bomb. And so I'm really curious about it because it's spelled B-A-L-M, which certainly implies a lot of moisture. And I'm looking at this and it has a beautiful mold, which I love. And I can tell this is jam packed full of moisture. I cannot wait to use this in the tub. I'm seeing some beautiful ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil, and of course, magnesium, kale and clay. It's got a little bit of polysorbate 80 in there. So that means that the product will not leave a ring around my tub, which I really like. I also really like the fact that I can smell the product through the boxes that she's using. So this one is a vegan soap that she specifically calls out as being vegan with olive oil, shea butter, castor oil, cocoa butter, it's kale and clay, peppermint essential oil. So this one's gonna really feel tingly in the tub. That's always fun. And let's see what this is. Oh, I love this. This was really intriguing on her website, this bergamot lavender body oil. I can't wait to try it. I like that it has a little pump on it and its main ingredient is sweet almond oil with some jojoba oil and it's lavender and bergamot. So really pure, really clean ingredients list. One of the things that I love about this line is it's very sophisticated, it's very elegant and Stephanie has figured out how to elevate simplicity and clean design through her use of packaging that's really consistent and cohesive. Mm. So Rachel from Astrid and Aurora, located in Nashville, Tennessee, started her journey into soap making and learning all about soap when she was on bed rest pregnant. She actually started 
learning about soap making because she got into soap carving, interestingly enough, because that was something she could do while she was hanging out in bed. Then she enrolled in a aromatherapy class and got really into essential oils and aromatherapy. So this is her ultra calming hand cream and it's made with essential oils. This packaging is beautiful. She also included a little note that was really nice of her that said that she actually learned how to make soap from uh, the Brambleberry YouTube channel and all of the Brambleberry articles we have, which makes me feel really great. So thanks for letting me know that, Rachel. Rachel sells her products at her own retail store. She also sells at local holiday markets and of course, online. And she has a goal of opening more stores across the country, which is awesome. This product is gorgeous. The branding is really cohesive. These sets would make a great gift for anybody. And I personally cannot wait to use this facial cream, light the candle, and of course, try this body oil. It's gorgeous. Our next maker of the month comes to us from Michigan. It's the Little Flower Soap Company. This company is run by a husband and wife team, Holly and Justin. Justin is a chiropractor and Holly is a floral designer and also a wedding coordinator. They run this company out of their cute barn in Michigan. One of the things I noticed right away that just pops is the branding and the colors. I see the blue and the blue. I think that's really fun. These sets are clearly very gift worthy and I think that's another really nice touch. And you can see that Holly is a floral designer because these bows are perfection. This is a bath fizzy gift set and I think it is super appealing. I can see the big Epsom salts in there and obviously these sprinkles are adorable. Anybody would be thrilled to get that. Oh, what a gorgeous gift set that anybody would be thrilled to get. It's got bath salts in it. It has moisturizer. It has rescue balm. And oh, a little happy birthday candle. I love that all of this stuff just says farm to me right away. Like it's very clear that their branding is well thought out. Like this looks like little egg cartons, for example. And this is so cute how they included these really great inserts. And they're very clear about their full spectrum CBD bomb that they have as well. Obviously with husband and wife both being in the kind of traditional healing fields, uh, herbal medicine for Holly, but also being a chiropractor for Justin, they know what works on bodies. And so they're clearly touting their CBD products in their healing balms. Holly and Justin, thanks so much for being our makers of the month. Our next maker of the month is Kobe of Goat To Be Natural. Wow, this is so pretty. Kobe started making products after her children left home and she was looking for something to do. Oh, this is so nice. She included a little note for me that says everything in here is made with products from Brambleberry. My business wouldn't exist if it wasn't for your great products. Well, that makes me feel so good. I love that. I can't wait to see what's in here. Kobe makes her products in a small city in California in the middle of the San Joaquin Valley called Turlane. And she sells directly through Instagram and has customers pick up their products from her. Ooh, I see something I'm already super intrigued with right now. This huge bath fizzy. This is so pretty. It's huge, it's big. One of the things that she talks about in her Maker of the Month article at Brambleberry is how she likes to use apple crates from the grocery store to make sure that her bath fizzies dry and they dry around and they don't end up flattening out. These are so beautiful. I love the texture on top. I really like how there's such differentiation in the types of bars. I see multiple styles and shapes of bars in here and also different types of cuts. One of the things that sets her apart as well is her use of CBD. This bath fizzy has 65 milligrams of CBD in it, which many people find that CBD really helps to relax muscles when you're taking a bath with it. Look how cute this little bee is. That's another thing I notice about a lot of these products is they have those kind of beautiful details like this bar of soap has an end bed on it that is a flower. That's really, really pretty. And then 
there's little things like this looks like jasmine flowers on the top here. And we have some oatmeal on the top of this one. So all these little details make these bars stand out and again, look really appealing for as a set and there's something to appeal for really anyone and everyone here. We have melt and pour, we have rebatch soap, we have traditional cold process soap. I'm so glad that I got to buy all these goodies and I cannot wait to use them. Our next maker of the month is Nathan from Clover Soapworks. And this is so cute to smell lucky. I love that this is, the, you know, got the little sticker. It's wrapped so cute. So Nathan got into soap originally because he started making lard soap with his mom who had been making it for a long time. One of the things that Nathan really specializes in too is making hilarious and fun TikTok videos. And I know that I personally get mesmerized by his maker videos when he shows us how he's swirling and what he's doing. It's so great. Bright, happy, fun colors are obviously a very clear marker of his brand. This clover right here, again, matches the clover name. You can smell through it. They're clearly custom boxes and I love how cohesive the collection looks when it's inside the boxes. One of the things Nathan does really well too is he does launches where he'll kind of count down and tell you when a really popular bar is going to be available. And his rainbow series is always one that intrigues me and so I'm always watching for it. Like many makers, he also uses a stamp to make his bars clearly show as his. They're Clover Soapwork bars as evidenced by the stamp. It's a nice extra touch that I think is a great idea. Our next maker is Rachel with Sopothecary. Mmm, I love it. Dream big. Ooh. After becoming a stay-at-home mom, she started watching So Queen TV, also known as the Brambleberry YouTube channel, where she learned how to make bath and body products, and she decided to give it a try. The first thing that's really uh, like just standing out to me, of course, are these amazing custom boxes. They have little smell of vision cut out of them so that way you can smell while keeping the product safe from hands. So these are clearly designed for a beautiful retail shelf. Mm. And Rachel sent a nice little note. She did send me a few extra things. So I can't wait to see what's in here. That's a surprise. Oh wow, I'm just gonna have to pause right here and look at this because this wood grain soap is so difficult to make. I am really impressed with how this one turned out. Wow. She also makes lip balms and then what do we have here? We have body cream and boy, this is a nice hefty jar of it. I love the size of it. Clearly Rachel has an entire line of products here. It's not just soap. She's expanded into scrubs, lotions, lip balms. Uh, she included, oh, wow, look at this bright color. That is so pretty. She included some sugar scrub samples for me and some honey lotion for me as well, which thank you for that. I am really intrigued by what I'm seeing in here too in terms of just this texture. One of the things I really appreciate with soap makers is when they have that cohesive looking line, but they experiment with texture and design. And so in this case, I'm seeing some really interesting, gorgeous Taiwan swirls, some beautiful clear layering, some drop swirls, this texture, and then of course this beautiful wood grain here. So that tells me that yes, the student has become the master because she has mastered so many different techniques here. And they smell amazing too. Really beautiful job, Rachel. Our next maker is Katya from Chandel Home Sense. Ooh, this is so cute. Do you see the little thank you? Oh, there we go. There, it's so cute. Mm, I love that. Nice little detail work here. Katja is originally from Brazil. So when she moved here, she really wasn't sure what she was gonna do and she's always loved scents. And so she pursued her love of scent when she moved here and started a candle company that is really all about scenting products. And so like, for example, she's got home sprays. These are very heavily scented uh, drawer fresheners. These are little wax tarts. 
and she prides herself on the strength of her scents. And I love how this box smells right now. Of course, I'm getting so much of the drawer fresheners and that's the like orange clove. But the candles themselves are just beautiful. This is a black spruce and anise. Smells beautiful. The pour is incredibly even on these. You can tell that she really takes care when she's working with candles and is really thinking about temperatures because there's no pitting. There's also no pulling away. She's got her wax combination and her fragrance combination down. This home spray, when you shake it up, it gets a little emulsified. And so you know that she's using an emulsifier in there to make sure that this uh, probably doesn't stain fabrics and stuff. That's something to be concerned about whenever you're making products. And it looks like that's taken care of. And then I love how the wax tarts have this nice extra little kind of fun flair for the fall. These are beautiful. I can't wait to use them and let them scent my home. Our next maker of the month is Chartel from Golden Water Company, Golden Water Co. Chartel used to be a music teacher, and in fact, her specialty is voice. And so she really understands the concept of harmonious nature of art and movement coming together in one beautiful form. I also really see her focus on creativity in the boxes that she's chosen here. They have little smell-o-vision, just like a lot of great soap boxes do. And they also have a really interesting and unique cut that I don't think I've seen before. I haven't seen this triangle look before. They have a cohesive look with the brand on the top. And then she uses labeling on each one to make sure that you know exactly what uh, the soap is while still not having to buy brand new boxes. It's a really clever way of doing it. Chartel makes a lot of different products. Everything from body butter to soap to gorgeous salt soaks. So this gorgeous salt soak is scented with essential oils and it looks like it's gonna be such a wonderful salt soak because it uses lavender essential oil, bentonite clay, it's really pretty. Chartel is a fierce advocate for mental health and uh, they support anti-abuse organizations as well as organizations that help support mental health and hygiene needs. This body butter is bare, so I got it unscented. And so it just smells like the natural oils and butters that are in it. It's gonna be so warm and luxurious and creamy on the skin. And Chartel also uses a stamp that she dips in mica to make sure that her bars just have an, a unique and special look that makes them stand out. Her use of these beautiful boxes, plus the stamp, plus this very cohesive look make this brand gorgeous on any shelf. So our next maker is Bathroom Colt. She was our October maker of the month and you can see exactly why we we're drawn to her. This all has such a cohesive look and feel. She actually got into soap making because she turned a really difficult time in her life into something beautiful where she learned how to create and have creative expression flow out through making soap and candles and other products. One of the things that really stands out to me is of course this wax seal, which I'm gonna break to get in here just to see this beautiful bar of soap because the soap making techniques are beautiful and match the names and interesting names of these soaps. Dragon's Blood, Dead Sea, Psychic Shield, Morning Ritual, Rose Quartz. These all have vaguely kind of Wiccan or pagan names that are very interesting and they smell amazing. I love the way they look. And I love how the labels also remind me just a little old timey. Like this looks like it could have been in, I don't know, not Bram Stoker's Dracula, but something a little more old timey, a little more, more occulty. So I'm gonna actually open the Psychic Shield one. This one has pumpkin seed oil in it, which is really interesting to me. And this one was wrapped in a wax paper too, which is really great. I love this color, it's really fun. It's also a really nicely shaped little bar, like kind of a good guest size bar. And next I'm gonna open the Morning Ritual. The Morning Ritual also has pumpkin seed oil. And so I, I'm really excited to use that because pumpkin seed oil is one that I don't typically get to use. And this one's really fun because I see that it's got some inclusions, look like maybe some coffee grounds in it. So that'll be good for by the kitchen sink and a little bit of scrubbing. I can't wait to use this product. This is so fun. Our next maker is Melissa from Goods Apothecary and she resides in Texas. She's a farmer down there. 
Melissa really believed in the regenerative power of herbs, and that's one of the reasons that she got into soap making and making product. She comes from a long lineage of farmers, and so this is kind of in her blood. These are clearly packaged to make it to me safely, and I'm excited to see what I purchased. I love that this has the little tiny sticker. So cute. So this is a pumpkin and clay face mask, and I'm really excited to try it. It's got kaolin clay, rasool clay, pumpkin powder, and colloidal oats. So this is one of those dry masks where you, when you get it home, you actually add your own moisturizer or your own oil or your water to it before you put it on your face. And this is one of the ways that if you're a maker, you don't have to actually put a preservative in the product. So that allows you to have a preservative-free, 100% natural product that the consumer just uses right when they're getting ready to use the product. Let's check out these soaps. First of all, this is the natural packaging, uh, the natural kind of craft board packaging. So I like that. This has a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous dried flour on top of it. There's a lot of detail work in there. And this green man soap, I was really drawn to it because it has olive oil that was infused with mugwort and yarrow. So I was pretty excited to kind of try that and see how it felt on the skin. Just like the other bar of soap, there's another beautiful enhancement on the top to really add some interest and showcase the naturalness of the product. And then this under eye serum is coffee and rose. It has jojoba, almond oil, which is infused with espresso. And caffeine, since it naturally draws things in and dehydrates, it actually helps with temporary alleviation of wrinkles and interestingly enough cellulite. So I can't wait to try this product. You can see Melissa's love of nature in all these products. And you can also see that she's got a great eye for design. This label actually just sort of tells me everything I need to know right about the brand, just when I look at the logo. Thank you so much to all of our makers and all of your products that you create. We are so inspired by you every single day. And if you'd like to be a maker of the month for Brambleberry next year, the way we find our makers is through the Bramble on hashtag on Instagram and all social media. So whenever you use that hashtag, we're always looking to see who might be our next maker of the month. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Until next time, happy soaping. Welcome to our unboxing video. Okay, cute, let's try it again. It's fine, so everything is fine. Okay. What is happening? Why are you making stuff up? That smells amazing. Love the vibe. The vibe is general. Dry, but osteopath, chiropractor, osteopath. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Person. Thank you. Great. Ooh. Wow. Sweet. Out. Center. Wee. There is a hole in here. I wonder if we have mods. From Goods Apocotherapy. I'm gonna just continue to keep killing this. It's gonna be fine. Mm. Um, but yeah. No, 2022 was hard. How's my hair? Okay. Yeah. I'm listening to you. I hear your voice. Yes. Wee.